Joining us tonight, um, Uriah Police Lieutenant Jeremy Durant. Um, in just a few minutes, Mayor Scott Vitton and council members will be out here to pay a short tribute to those that we've lost to COVID. Um, if you have a second, just take a minute to share this video with your friends or family. That way we can join us and uh, participate all together in this remembrance. Uh, thank you all very much for being here tonight, and we're going to get started in just a minute. Hang tight. Good evening. Few of us could have fathomed a year ago that more than 100 Murrieta residents would lose their lives due to COVID-19. It's a sad and tragic milestone that we have reached last week. One of the most cherished aspects of our Murrieta community is how we come together one another in good times and in bad. By its very nature, COVID has made it difficult for us to gather physically, so we adapt and find new ways of sharing our support. This evening, we gather with you virtually to pay tribute to the men, women, and children who are no longer with us. Not as numbers, but as members of the Murrieta family, parents, children, colleagues, and friends gone too soon. We acknowledge the ripple effect of this pandemic, untold losses, not reflecting in, the, in these numbers as isolation, depression, and reluctance to access critical medical care have taken its toll. Loss of human life is a tragedy, and we share a collective grief. We invite you to light a candle as a symbol of our determination to remember not just what has happened, but also the people, our friends, our family, and community members. I would now like to invite Fire Captain Todd Bradstreet to the podium to deliver a message of prayer. Following that, the Chaplain Police Officer Colin Acta will pay tribute in song as way as we lay a wreath in remembrance. Good evening. Would you pray with me? Father God, we come before you tonight with, with heavy hearts, Lord. 
as we have now surpassed the 100 mark in deaths in Murrieta because of the COVID virus. Lord, we know that you are the author and perfecter of love. We know you have the ability to comfort and give peace and joy. So Lord, we just ask tonight, we invoke you, Lord, for your presence to come down on Murrieta and just to, uh, just to provide that peace and comfort that only you can give. Lord, I also provide, ask that you provide uh, loved ones to come alongside those people that are grieving, um, whether it be a family member, uh, a friend, or a perfect stranger, Lord. I pray that you bring people alongside them in an effort to be able to encourage them and to bring hope. Lord, of course, I also pray that uh, you will quickly end this virus and that there would be no more deaths. I pray for the community as a whole, Lord. I pray for our, our businesses that have been affected so negatively because of this virus. I think of our, our restaurants, um, our movie theater, bowling alley, and, and all the businesses that have been affected, Lord. I just pray that you, uh, you help those businesses to not only survive, uh, but also to thrive. I think of our kids, Lord, and our schools, and I pray that you could lower these virus rates quickly and be able, to kid, be able to get our kids back into school and to be able to play sports. And if that's not able to happen, happen, happen quickly, Lord, I pray that, uh, and then in the meantime, that you'll be able to remove any uh, mental illness, uh, depression, or even uh, suicidal thoughts from their, from their minds, Lord, and just, just give them a supernatural peace knowing that this will be coming to an end soon. Lord, I also pray for our health care workers. Uh, I pray for the hosp hospital staff out there. I pray for first responders as they're still out there on the front lines every day. I ask for your protection and keep them safe. Um, Lord, I wouldn't feel right if I didn't come before you and give some thanksgiving rather than just asking for petitions. And some may say, well, what is there to give thanks for? After all, the last year has been horrible. But Lord, I know that you are the God that makes good out of evil. And I saw plenty of good this last year. At the beginning of this virus, um, although it was brief, I remember maybe, maybe two weeks, maybe a month, but there was a short period there where this nation actually came together in unity. And it was a beautiful thing, Lord, and I pray that if you can have that happen again, I pray for that. Um, Lord, it wasn't unique to just the nation. It was actually uh, happened here in uh, Murrieta. And as uh, the Murrieta fire motto is, neighbors helping neighbors, we saw that here in Murrieta. Um, whether it was a uh, neighbor helping out an elderly resident, uh, buying groceries and dropping it off on their porch, or maybe it was one of those uh, birthday uh, parades that we saw where cars would line up one after another just to show their love for another neighbor. I think most importantly, Lord, uh, the good that you caused was um, you forced us to have downtime. And that downtime, it caused us to reflect on what is truly important, and that is relationships. We were able to strengthen our families, reconnect with friends, uh, albeit, albeit maybe through uh, Zoom. Uh, and I think the most important relationship that uh, we were able to formulate was that downtime caused us to reflect on you and your goodness and your love. And Lord, it also, it was important because uh, it caused some of us to know you for the first time, and I thank you for that. So anyways, Lord, uh, as I wrap up here, I just, uh, again, I pray for those that are grieving. Um, I pray for our community to get back on its feet, and I just offer you thanksgiving. I offer things up in your son's precious name. Amen. Amen.
was blind But now I see When we've been there Ten thousand years God Now, if you would be so kind as to join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you for helping us remember together. As we end this, e this evening's event, we continue to carry our Murrieta family in our prayers. Thank you. <laughs>